everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. Just a quick reminder to make sure, number one, that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel and that notification bell is switched on. And, because we're back with Susie, you are following Susie on Instagram and of course, Sugar Mama TV for all of your inspiration, motivation for eating healthily, sticking to your budgets, and of course, achieving your financial goals and your and lifestyle your, goals. Your nutritional goals, goals on exactly. a budget. All right, so we're here to help you improve your life in many different directions. <laughs> Susie is going to share with us quick, healthy, budget-friendly snacks that you can make at home so there is no excuse to break your budget and order takeaway or home delivery. And particularly for the family, if they're looking for more of a treat meal, how yeah. to do it at home mm -hmm. so it's more nutritious and cheaper. So, pizza. Kids, look, everyone, everyone loves, pizza. loves pizza. And the great thing is you can do it with often minimal ingredients mm. from what you've got at home. So and you can eat up the bits. Like if there's half a yes. tomato or a half an avocado or a quarter of a Spanish onion, onion. Throw it, I throw all my bits mm -hmm. onto the, the pizza. Or like a little bit of cheese, you can grate it down mm. and really make the most. Yeah. So, And the good thing is there's lots of pizza baked options which are 100% better than they ever used to be. So my original go-to is like a whole meal Lebanese bread. Mm. Yeah. They retail for about $4 for six, so mm. that's gonna feed a whole family if you've got yeah. a couple of kids and the other thing is if you don't you can always freeze those to yeah. make sure that you're getting maximum use yeah. and they're higher in fiber yeah. than the white bases but they're up yeah. well sorry no no I was going to say my trick because I sometimes find the pizza bases towards the center get a bit soggy mm. so what I do is I actually put my pizza bases in the oven for about five minutes before I put any ingredients so that they're crunchy all the way through and it makes a big difference. That's a nice tip. Yeah, a little, little trick. <laughs> and then there's also some new um, higher protein bases I've picked up. There's mm. two for five dollars. Okay. And nutritionally that means you can actually have the whole thing, mm. particularly if you're weight conscious, you're yep. trying to watch your calories. So that's another great option. They're mm. about two fifty each, so a little bit more expensive. Yep. But options as well if you're only cooking for one or two, mm. you've got a smaller pack so you're less likely to waste it. Yep. Yep. And then you know throw a bit of tomato passata, a bit of tomato mm. paste whatever cheese you've got whether it's ricotta whether it's yeah. goat's cheese a little bit of leftover feta and you can or grated cheese mix 100 mm. and then i just tend to throw whatever veggies i've got yeah you know if we've got some pumpkin zucchini you can do it really plain and just do tomato with a little bit of basil and mm. use your herbs that are in the cupboard yeah. you don't even have to worry about going and getting the fresh ones or if you're a meat person or a meat family mm. and you might have some leftover chicken or some ham from the bacon. lunches bacon mm. to, you can really flavor with whichever you want and what i've noticed with my own kids, mm. they don't care if the pizza's from the shop or mm. I've made it. They just love the idea of pizza. Yeah. So yes. it's about just yeah. having a more nutritious base, mm. really cost effective, and you can make it quite healthy. Yeah. And make it fun. You make it get the kids so they can use their hands, they can throw the, the food together. And it's, I find it a great way of getting vegetables into my kids without the pushback. Yeah, they love whenever they're involved in cooking, mm. it is good for their overall development, their understanding mm. of food, they're much more likely to consume it. Chop up the ingredients, you can do it as a, a platter in the middle, and yeah. they can make their own it's a really fun yeah, activity fun. and pizza is probably one of my go-to's because you can make it really healthy yeah. and that doesn't take long no it's just a bit of chopping and then yeah. in the oven and crisping your base first yeah, and exactly. off you go <laughs> Um, all right, hit me up with the other one, other tips. The other go-tos I have is I love homemade chips mm -hmm. and I would make them most nights for the kids. Wow. Whether I've got potato or whether I've got sweet potato. And if you want to really extend, you can actually mm -hmm. do it with pumpkin and zucchini as well oh, if okay. your kids are a bit more open to that. So you don't need one of those big, bulky, expensive humidifiers? No, I never use that. Okay, all, all right. I do is peel, chop, oven. They do take about 40 to 60 minutes, so give yourself mm. that time. Okay, that's good to know. And I always just use Australian extra virgin olive oil. and I. I'm quite liberal with it because mm. it gives a better tasting chip. I salt them at the end, so yes, I do give them mm. some flavor. Or you could use seasoning. There's a lot of those available yeah. as well. But they are a go-to, not only on the weekends as a treat. Mm. I use them most nights for the kids to get yeah. their veggies into them. Mm. And again, they're not, when you order chips from the takeaway or fast food, they're always soggy. Yeah. Whereas these are delicious, nutritious, and you're getting the nutritional benefits of good quality oil. On the question of oil, what's the brand that you recommend as being the best nutritional value? Um, I don't have a relationship with this group. It's not. <laughs> A sponsored post yeah. but Australian dietitians love Cobram Estate extra virgin olive oil because it is really high in antioxidants okay. it's a great tasting oil you can buy it in bulk so it becomes mm. more cost effective and I love to support Australian brands yes, and that cooks beautifully people mm. often think you can't cook with olive oil but if it's good quality extra virgin olive oil you absolutely can I probably wouldn't deep fry with it but when it comes to roasting baking 100% yeah. is the only oil I have at home okay that's so interesting to know because I always get very overwhelmed in the 
oil section. I'm like, what am I doing? Where do I go? And I, I literally just mm. go with the cheapest. So that's not the And I always pour, actually. I don't spray. Because mm. when you spray, it's processing the oil more. You lose some of the antioxidants. Ah. So I use the fresh. And I'm very liberal with it because it's quite nutritious and you get a more filling chip yeah. as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next um, up. Burgers. Okay. Because we love burger. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got a little bit more time and you like to do a bit of food prep, you can make a burger out of any mince that you have, whether it's a lean beef. I love turkey because you can get, they come in at about five or six dollars for a big 500 mm -hmm. gram container. You can get an extra lean variety. Mm -hmm. There's also chicken mince. As I said, you could do it with whatever, a little bit of onion, a little bit of breadcrumbs and make your own burger. And then you can team it with whatever you like. If you're going low carb, you can do it with lettuce. If you want to do it with leftover English muffins for the kids, you might buy a packet of bread rolls. Mm -hmm. You might just do it with toasted bread yeah but a burger with some sweet potato fries at home again often tastes better it's not soggy yeah. it's fresh you're getting lean mints and if you're really budget conscious the turkey mints in particular tends to be the cheapest at supermarket mm -hmm. um the other go-to when people are ordering is asian cuisine yeah. thai stir fries Love thai. and mm. unfortunately the issue with those is they're often frying in, in vegetable oil which really isn't very good for us they're mm. really liberal the meats they often add are really fatty so they're using say chicken thigh and fatty cuts mm. and you just don't get necessarily the veggies and they're using full cream coconut milk so you do mm. get a big whack of saturated fat okay. and you can recreate that at home so easily just with you've got some I think you've got coconut cream or coconut milk you can do it with some curry powder mm. you can also do it with light evaporated milk and use some of the curry paste with that it, it's, I've recently been making my own stir fries and I'm actually embarrassed as to how easy it is there I am thinking I could never make something as complicated as a, as a green curry but Yes, I can. It's just literally the paste and the cream is the key ingredients and, and you know, obviously some maybe some lemongrass or something like that, but it's actually budget friendly and really easy and a great way to eat up all the leftover vegetables. And you can use a frozen pack. Mm. I think I paid $3.80 for a massive bag of mixed frozen yeah. veggies, but you could again throw in anything you've got left over from the wheat. You can use your carrots, zucchinis, which are generally pretty inexpensive. Yeah. Now, I also love the rices that are mixed. So these packets are great because they're you know, cooked really quickly. Mm. You don't need a rice cooker. Um, there's a brown, a black rice. They're higher in fiber. They look prettier. Mm. Um, and, and more tasty, they've yeah. got a nutty taste. But I will also say that if you are not even keen to do that and open those jars, you can actually buy some of the pre-mixed sauces. Okay. They're a little bit more expensive. You might pay $3 for one, mm. but you, then you don't even have to buy the individuals and you can throw that in. Yep. And they're actually quite good. So it's really, really easy to make a nutritious stir fry and they take like five minutes, yeah. which is great. And I'll point out all of these meals are $10 or less. Mm. Yeah, which is so, it, there is, it is so much easier to stick to your budget. If, if you food, food prep, have a few key ingredients at home and there's, there's no Excuses. And no. I think a lot of it comes down to using what you have. Yeah. Because so often you get motivated to eat healthier, or mm. and you go and you buy all the ingredients and come home with a two hundred dollars shot. Oh, so what I would encourage you to do is go into the fridge, as we've done a little bit mm. today, putting yeah. this together. What have you got, Canna? What can we use and throw together? And we wouldn't have to buy anything. Yeah. It's all already there, even if it's one random potato. You know, you can put it together and make a very nutritious meal and, and reduce food waste, which we're all very guilty of. And then my fine, final favorite. Mm is popcorn yeah. because of course the kids are often looking for snacks mm. now we might buy bags of popcorn but any kind of packaged food in the pre-made bags is not inexpensive mm. and the other issue is of course we eat the whole lot when we buy it yes i think i saw yeah. some rice snacks that were flavored by like four dollars for the bag now that would feed one or two people like that's expensive that's really expensive stuff. um whereas this popping corn a dollar 85 for 20 serves which is it like such good value. <laughs> Kids love it, and you can like put sugar on it. You can put yes, you can put caramel sugar. on it. You can drizzle put honey, honey and make, make it. So make it yeah. sweet. You can salt. make it savory. Add mm. a little bit of salt. But, you know, if you're trying to save some coin on some um, snacks, you can't go past some popping corn. And the kids will love to make oh, it. Yeah, I mean, you can make it like a movie, a frugal night in, a movie night, you know, some popcorn, dim the lights, sit off the sofa, like a really fun family treat. Like, it's so budget friendly. Susie, thank you so much for sharing everything with us as always. Please, everyone, make sure you go and follow Susie on Instagram. I will link the details below. But you, I have learned so much from you and following you and, and seeing you explain things in such a realistic, practical way. So thank you so much. And post any of your own homemade healthy yes. meals. We would love to see, see. it and tag us in. Yeah. And we would love to share, share that. Share the love. Thank you everyone for watching. Please make sure, of course, you are subscribed. You are following us both on Instagram. And I will see you next week for more financial inspiration, education, and motivation. Ciao for now.